just did that long show a minute ago. We just did that long show a minute ago, and I'm in here. I don't want to be holding this camera. I need a cameraman or some kind of. Look at people are signing in. Look how fast people are coming in. Yeah, you, you you got some fans there. Yeah, that's not for me. That's all you right there, brother. No, the people. That is. I, I owe those people money. They've been. I've been looking for him for months. I finally found him, man. <laughs> Tell him I'm coming to get mine. He exists. He exists. Uh-huh. There you go, right there. Tell Charlie I said I see him. Tell Charlie I said I see him. Ladies and gentlemen, you chilling in with your boy JP Justice. Another great edition of Instigated Talk. I'm in here. If you listen in, first off, first off, let me get all this out of the way before I introduce you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're tuned in, you know, once again, you can go to iTunes, you can go to iHeart, you can go to Google Play, you can go to uh, Spreaker, wherever you listen to uh, podcast podcasting, <laughs> I'm there. Instigated Talk is there, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to put a face with the voice, then definitely come on over to uh, Facebook Live uh, that's Facebook uh, backslash the comedian JP Justice the comedian. Come on over here in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my first, one of my first celebrities. One of the one of, a big name, a big name in my house, ladies and All gentlemen. Right. In the studio, <laughs> I got my man, Mister Kevin Mason. Give it up for Kevin Mason. I know you can't hear him clapping. Yeah, clap, but yeah. give yeah, it right. up. Yeah. And, oh, oh yeah, and we got Justin over there. But let, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. We gonna get to my man over there. <laughs> also in the building, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a return guest, uh, and I'm glad he brought Kevin over here because Kevin said he never been to the Bronx. So you bringing yes. him here was he been here before? I got my boy, Mister Justin Ramos, what's in up, the building. What's up, what's up? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I love Justin. He's about one of the most animated motherfuckers. Oh, <laughs> like I know, like like. Tell me when I'm lying, Kevin. If y'all hear in the background, you start hearing. <laughs> yeah, that right there. That's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was, I'm that's my laugh. That's, <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, once again, the call, the call for, uh, lines are open 718 407 0893. If you want to give my man, uh, Kevin, a, a holler and you want to ask him a question, he's from the hit show, The Hit. Star show power, yes, sir. Um, a phenomenon in our in our culture right now. Like right now in in pop culture, like that is one of the major shows yeah. that people are watching right now. Like everybody, not even it's not even a black thing. Like you no, just said, it's, it's everything. I was saying to you before we started recording is like white people that white people. I mean, you know, I don't know a lot of white people to be honest with you. It's not, just you know cause I, it's just because where I grew up, they I, know you, and they know, yeah, and it's not like. America's Most Wanted type know me it's like I saw you on no, the show no it is nigga it is <laughs> but they, just, well, they wanna make sure it's, it's a not, lie let me make sure either I'm gonna get somebody by turning this nigga in or if I know him <laughs> off the TV show I, I, I was in yeah. the pizzeria and like I'm eating he's, I'm like I'm, I know the guy who owns the pizza place and like I'm leaving me and my wife McKay and walking I hear the white guy saying to the other one, yo dude that's him that's the kid from power I'm telling you bro that's him are you Look serious it's like on, that yeah every day man every day I got people like yo oh man that's my show let me get a picture man and it, it just Weird, all right. I'm not. So let's know. start. Let's start all the way back. Let's go. Yeah, let's yeah, go all the way yeah. back. First off, let's go all the way back. And, and, and yo, feel free, Justin, to jump in any time. If it's something, yeah, you want to, feel free to jump in. So here, let's jump. All, let's start all the way back. First off, how old are you, bro? <laughs> I'm, I'm 37. Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> young, basically a young dude. Like, like this is the prime of your career, right? Yeah, here. yeah. And yes, to be on is. such a great show like this. And was you always into acting? No, I actually started doing comedy, man. That's stand up. Stand up, yeah. yeah. 2013. Uh, I I'd, I'd been working at Enterprise Rent a Car for about seven years, and it wasn't going nowhere, and uh, mm-hmm. I was miserable. So you know, I I was. I said, yo, I'm going to chase his dream. I, I, originally, I wanted to be on the radio because I used to DJ. Okay. I DJ for about, I don't know, 15 some odd years. Oh, that's why when you saw that, yeah. you was like, oh, dang. No. I saw your controller. I was like, yeah, yeah. yo. Okay. So, yeah. And I, I quit. I went to uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting originally. And I was doing comedy like I just started. I kind of got the same start the way Justin did. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I saved up. Three fifty and went and paid uh, Caroline School of Comedy. Oh. I didn't know about your book. Number one, I could have saved myself oh. at least three hundred and thirty dollars. Yo, I would have just gotten JP's book. It comes book. a shameless plug. Where's the book? Oh, shameless plug. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please thank you. Uh, pick up the book. Set breaking uh, breaking down the elements of urban yeah. stand-up comedy is twenty dollars. <laughs> you can get it on Amazon and any place you buy your electronic books. Support black businesses. Absolutely, black businesses. All right, so here we go. Um, Raising like I didn't get a chance to. I, yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm Park Slope, Brooklyn. Park, I was raised. Uh, when I grew up in the, when the, the Park Slope, where the drugs was almost on the way out, we moved there in the, like. The so you live 80s. in the good part of Brooklyn. 
Well, it's good now, but yeah, I grew up in, in what's considered a good part of Brooklyn. Now, gentrification happened, and now the neighborhood is like... Oh, so when you was there, it was rough. Yeah, I mean, you know, people were snatching chains. You know, the old 80s crime, stealing okay, hubcaps. I, I got to tell you this. Chains. I got to tell you this right now. Yeah. So a lot of my listeners are from Brooklyn. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, because I did my little analytics and I did my demo, demographic breakdown, and mm-hmm. a lot of my listeners are from Brooklyn. That's so what's up? if Brooklyn, you are out there, do me a favor. Give me a call. Tell me what was Brooklyn like in what years? The early 80s? It was the early 80s. Yeah, we, we moved there in 81. Tell me about the early 80s in Park Slope, because here in, in the Bronx, all we think about is Park Slope is Jewish people in good housing. No, no, no. There ain't no There's a lot of gangs in the 80s. There ain't no in, Jewish in Park people Slope? In, there wasn't no Jewish people in uh, yeah. Park Slope. There was there was some gang activity, but um, it was uh, it was no Jewish people. It was mostly uh, minorities, blacks, a couple of white people. In Park Slope? Yeah, yeah. all the white people lived past 7th Avenue when I was yeah. growing up. There. A lot of Latino gangs. A lot of Latino, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Shocking me, because I, well, I always yeah. heard of Park Slope, and they go, at least you get a girl, get her from Park Slope. Don't get no girl from... Uh, uh, yeah. Like them other areas, <laughs> like you know, yeah, you know, yeah. you from Brooklyn, from East New York. I know. Yeah, I feel yeah. sorry for you. Don't mess with the girls in East New York. <laughs> Did you go to regular high school? Like I uh, went, I went to the John Dewey High School. John heard, Dewey is that a public Col- high school? Yeah, Coney Island. Island. Coney Island's public. Right, that's yeah. the same one that Chris Rock talks about in uh in his show. I think so. Yeah, Chris Rock went there. Spike Lee, Angie Martinez. We got a lot of uh, famous artists. Uh, and, and now yeah. you, for sure. I guess I, I'm just so weird for me to say I'm famous, man, because I, I don't look at myself like that. I just look at myself as a guy who you know who got an opportunity, took advantage, and people are happy when they see me. I don't I don't feel like celebrity. When I start uh, listen, making listen, money, hey, Cap, 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 cut <laughs> this bullshit out, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, you hear this guy? Like I'm his P, like I'm his PR guy. You nah, know, just, man, I just take advantage. I, you know, I'm just, 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 just you know, yeah, yeah, man. Nah, listen, just, uh, he's good and wholesome. Yeah. Yeah, right I'm now we here to let our balls hang, goddammit. We listen. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy, fuck it. In, pass me the crystal in, man. That's I what mean. I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Listen, first off, it's an incredible feat to be on such a pop, uh, uh, popular show. So we're yeah. going to get into that. But I, right. I, I love your, I love the fact that you're humble. Um, Caribbean background, because you offered yes. me some what? Sorrow. Sorrow. I would have bought Marby, too, but I, I thought you were West Indian off the point. I, 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 on, Justin man. had me think you were Dominican, so I was like, what? I don't know. You told me I was Dominican. No, I didn't just, tell him you shit. Tell me that. You, told, you also told him I was I was your uncle, right? Because you tell huh? me that's what you said. Couldn't have been related. Y'all got yeah. the same haircut, same hairline, and everything. You know? <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> at least we got hairlines. I man. sure do. Where's your shit at? No way, damn. You gotta check the history books for my hairline. <laughs> <laughs> Ancestry dot so No, uh, uh, Jason uh, going around telling people I'm his uncle. Cut that bullshit, man. I ain't you. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so here we go. Um, <laughs> so Caribbean background. Yeah, mom's from Trinidad. Dad's from Grenada. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, those are two very unpopular Caribbeans. The best oh, islands, shit. <laughs> the yeah. best islands in the world. All Gr- my treaties and Grenadians out there. What, do, what do uh, Joe Show always say? He from Grenada. He's he's Grenadian. Yeah. Grenadian. Gr- Grenada, yeah. what do you, how do you say Grenadian? Grenadian. 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 Yeah. Grenadian. 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 Okay. They throw a lot of powder at Labor Day. That's Damn what right. They do. Shout out to the Job Job Posse there. The who? Job Job Posse. Jab jab posse. Jab jab posse. Like jab jab, but oh j- jab. Yeah, but the West Indians say jab jab. Oh, jab, 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 posse. jab 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 posse. Jab jab posse. Shout out to the jab jab posse. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I know something else. What I so I, I, can, I can survive a little bit longer. Give it to the jab jab posse. Sakba <laughs> say jab jab. What is so Sakba say? That's Haitian. They won't know who I am by the time Get they figure it out. I'm out of the, I'm out of the parade. Uh, <laughs> all right, so. Uh, what, Dewey High School again? John Dewey. John Dewey yeah, High yeah, School, yeah. Brooklyn, Caribbean raised. Mm-hmm. Uh, you worked at Enterprise. Boom, boom, boom. How? You started doing comedy. Yeah. How? And, and is Power your first? Power is my first uh, major, like, major role. I mean, I've done some smaller things before that, but Power was like... Well, when you say smaller things, what were some of the smaller things? Well, when I started acting, I was doing uh, background and extra work. So I had been on a couple of things. Some people might have seen me on Luke Cage. Uh, some people might have seen me on Mr. Right, I did see you in Luke you Cage. Did. Right. I, I even said something to you, right? Yes, you did. Yes. I seen Luke yes. Cage, uh, Daredevil, Mysteries of Laura. Um, I was on, actually, no, my first kind of small role was on The Good Wife. I don't know if a lot of black folks watch that show because it's about. Yeah, we like, don't know. Wife? What's that? The Good Wife. What's Wife? It's it's a law a show about law black, and order. It's like a court show. Black community wife. You mean wifey? <laughs> you mean yeah, the good, good girlfriend? Right, the good yeah. girlfriend. Let me just translate the good girlfriend or the good <laughs> the good, good side jump off good side piece. <laughs> Said the good side piece. Now I'm only joking. Or the no. moderately behaved yeah, girl. So, <laughs> all right, so here we go. So you 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 Luke Cage is big. Did you know that you was going to be on? Did you know that that did they? What was the feeling like on the set of that show? Because that that show broke the. 
the broke the internet too. That broke the internet. Yeah. Like it broke the internet. The servers and all that. Mike Coulter is one of the coolest people. I'm not just saying Mike Coulter's the he's, he's Luke Cage. he plays Luke Cage. That show was so everybody on that show was so nice. I met Mahershala Ali. I met Alfrey Woodard. Oh, um, Alfrey Woodard. Um, that's dope. Oh, let me tell you something, bro. And she she's so cool, oh, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's have a moment for yeah. Alfrey Woodard. Yo, Alfrey Woodard, you will get it from me. Absolutely. I will wrestle you to get that. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I will wrestle you. I will, let me tell you, I would love to be in a menage with Alfrey Woodard and Lena Horn. With uh, let me give you some other old classics on the side with Gladys Knight waiting in the, in the wing. Yeah, Gladys uh, Knight was bad. What? Some of them time life video music what? videos. And, what? Yeah. These women are beautiful and gorgeous. Uh, and huh? give me and give me who, who played uh, Tina Turner. Um, Angela, Angela Bassett. Yeah, Angela, Angela Bassett. Bassett. I mentioned Angela Bassett. I'm a little bad. Y'all, y'all didn't even mention Halle Berry in your episode. No, 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 You're no, no, talking no. about Halle Berry. Woo. Halle Berry's played out to me. What? Bro. Did you oh. see Swordfish? Yeah, but like that was 20 years ago, bro. Really did you was. Did you see what was the one she did with Billy Bob uh, <laughs> Thornton? What was uh, another 20 Monster years ago? Ball. Did you see? Did you see Kidnap? I, I that right. was stupid. And, and exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's her now. Like she aged like bananas. Like she was good for a while, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I, I would claim her child, and her child looks nothing like me. That's I, only because of her financial status. But watch no, this. she's fine. Do you think she's still fine? That's like people still saying uh, Janet Jackson. Are you still saying Janet Jackson? Janet Jackson is fine too. You, you, she still you look still, good. She still, still look claiming good. Janet Jackson. Absolutely, she still look good. Absolutely, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm claiming Janet Jackson too. I just want to see if you know, if I if I had a line waiting. She in front still of look me. good, man. <laughs> who who, who used to look good but don't look good no more? Let's let's who, oh. who blew it? Jada Pinkett. <laughs> she looks a little weird to me. Jada Pinkett. Well, she had she some, like she a damn had, Pokemon. Oh, like a Jigglypuff. Oh, she, she had some surgery. I'm mad, so that, you, she, I'm mad that you even know uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. He has the game on his phone. I'm a gamer. He put the game on my phone, and I had to take it off after a while. You need to grow I'm the still fuck play, up. Still playing, man. I ain't never gonna grow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bet, we I got you, a caller. I bet you this is for you, bro. I doubt bet, it. I it's bet you this is for you. Even Sally Mae, tell him I'm not here, man. Stop playing. Sally Mae. Instigated talk, your boy JP Justice. Who's this? It's AD. AD. What a deal. Oh, oh AD. I know this AD. AD it's Duncan Aaron from Duncan. Mount, this is uh, Mount, Mount V AD. Mount V AD. Yes, sir. What a deal, fella. You know we in here. Instigated talk. We talking to my man Kevin Mason. You got a question for my dude? First off, ladies and gentlemen, this is AD. Very funny comedian. Comedian. What's going on, bro? What's going on, man? So, Kev, I said congratulations, man. <clears throat> Much success. We all trying to get there, man. I yeah. appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, why you sound like yeah. you uh? No, I'm at work, but no, oh, I'm, okay. trying, I'm asking Kev. So Kev wasn't in um the um what's the um what's the the VH1 joint? Oh yeah, I was in the breaks the too. Breaks. Yeah, the breaks. Oh, the breaks. Yeah, yeah, breaks. Yeah. Oh, you was in the breaks. Yeah. I was in the breaks. Yeah. 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 So dude, yeah, you got you, yo, dude, you got to front like he was in the breaks. Yeah, <laughs> this, yo, he got a resume. He's sitting up <laughs> here fronting right now. Yeah. yeah. In the breaks, you trying to front. I'm sitting there. He's talking about he wasn't in there. Yeah, he, I was in the break seat. I forgot a couple yeah, things. You know, cool. yeah, you got a little cool. resume, bro. A little bit, a little bit. So, uh, so, so what? So what? What other things? So you've been in damn near all the urban hip hop stuff. Some like you, more you, recent you, ones, yeah. You like the the, the go to Negro, like the, the <laughs> go to hip hop Negro. As long as those checks the keep go, playing, I'll be that hip hop Negro. Yeah, not, ain't nothing not, wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Keep and he's not playing. He's not playing like the the typical guy. He's playing different roles. That's good. Yeah, he's showing. He's definitely showing different range uh, range mm -hmm. and different stuff. If he's in, if he's in the good wife, that's definitely got to be a stretch. Yo, I was I was show, playing a uh, show. JP, I like it. I like it. I like it. Boy. Thanks a lot, bro. I like it. I like Thank it. you. I like it. Yo, let me get some other people in here. Yo, AD, I'm gonna hit you up. All right, boy. All right. Later. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my boy, uh, Mount D.A.D., ladies and gentlemen. Feel free to give a call, 718-407-0893. Oh, Wait a minute. Why, why am I not? 718-407-0893. Ladies and gentlemen, the number to call is 718-407-0893. If you yeah. listen to this, if you're watching this, do me a favor, click share. Numbers are important, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want you to be the only one. Make sure you click share and let people definitely tune on in. Yep. I, I left the camera on my man, Anthony Mason. Uh, he, he's, the, he's the star for today. Avery Mason. Avery Mason. <laughs> A.K.A. We, Kevin Mason. We're going to talk about your role, too, because everybody keeps talking about... Uh, you got beat up or something recently? Yeah. That, okay, we're going to we yeah. get to it. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Uh, but I definitely want to get back... So you was in the breaks. Yeah, you was in. Uh, 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 uh. I did the breaks. The Good Wife. Um, 
Dare, Daredevil and you Luke never Cage. and you never planned on being an actor like this. No, I didn't. Um, it's always this person it, that gets everything in their life. No, right. Like, it's always the person that go. You know what? I don't. I don't plan on winning lotto. Let me just put my number. Well, I won seven hundred yeah. million. Nah, and you know what? What's funny though is my uncle was an actor. And we gonna get into that. Oh, as you, well. you know about yeah, that? Yeah, because you, you put the picture up, and at yeah, yeah, first yeah. I didn't believe it. And you walked in here just now, and you do look like him. Yeah. Tell people who your uncle is. My uncle was uh, rest in peace. His name is Sullivan Walker, a very famous Trinidadian actor. He uh, he was no, most notably on the Cosby Show. He was in the firm with Tom Cruise. Most his last big work was he did um, the movie with Fifty Cent. Get rich, get rich, die, die trying. trying. He, was Hold a, on. he played his grandfather. Tell them who they was because they they most they'll, they'll most recognize him from uh, uh, Cosby Show. Yeah, I um I, I don't remember the, the, the name of the character. I think it was uh he was the neighbor. Yeah, he, he was, was the neighbor. They they were playing Palonk exactly. one time. It was wearing the suspenders exactly. and the colds, and they were playing Spelunk. Ladies and gentlemen, he was the rivalry doctor. Yeah. From uh from the Huxtable from Cliff yeah. and they used to always have that rivalry and then they would play that game what Spelunk 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 yeah. and he was a, a Caribbean guy that would talk like this I you don't know and yeah. I and, and <laughs> very very healthy relationship one thing I always say about the Cosby Show they show very healthy beautiful Absolutely. relationships and then he was Fifty Cent's God, he, uncle Fifty Cent's uncle or grandfather in uh, Get Rich or Die Trying right, was his he was last grandfather who but he, he has a great career in theater and Broadway too Master Harold and the Boys Two Trains Running by August Wilson he played Hambone in Two Trains Running so okay. he tried to get me to it earlier but you know I was a knucklehead when he tried and I really didn't I really mm-hmm. didn't take it seriously. Sound so. like white noise when he was talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. He was like, you know, you must reach, you must reach for your soul. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna reach for this Coke, and I'll see you. Uh, this, you know, this what? Coca Cola. Oh, you scared the shit I out of me. I said Coke. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he yeah, said nah. Coke. I was like, what the nah, fuck? No, no, no. Look at Justin. Drugs, no <laughs> drugs. No drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do drugs. <laughs> okay. And Justin was like a drug addict. Edge. Not, so, no, uh, like so how good. was it? How was the audition process for for power? Did was it something that came? Was it given to you, or did you? No, like, I had. I had you I, earned I, that. I definitely had to earn it. Yeah. Um, just a little backstory. I got into acting because a comedian named Jessica Stern. I don't know if you know her. No. I was trying to find a way to make some money because the radio wasn't happening, and you know. Anybody who does comedy knows you don't really get paid any money when you first start. I wasn't getting anything. So mm-hmm. she was like, well, try doing background acting. Mm-hmm. And then you get like a couple hundred bucks. So I started doing that and I started getting a lot of things. Well, I can tell you right now, uh, and you you probably suffered the same thing I suffered from. When they put you in the background, you stand out. like yeah. never, and, and to the point, you know how many times I did background work and I had the director go, uh, get that guy in that green suit, please. Uh, sir, come here. Uh, okay, the camera just caught you. You're now bumped up to five, five, five words. I feel like that's kind of like what happened because I would, I, I would, I was on the set of a movie one time and they actually had to take me out because they felt I was too tall and distracting mm-hmm. to everybody. But How tall are you? Six four. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was like, oh, I didn't. Even, you know, we didn't get to my MMA stuff. I skipped a whole you, chapter. You, you did MMA? I did. Hold on, we're gonna get back to. <laughs> wait a minute. I skipped over the whole. Because it's, be, it's a, between comedy and before acting was there was MMA, but I, I'll get okay. To so that. watch this. So I'm six eight, three hundred right. something pounds. Um, when I when I stand in the crowd, you know I'm there. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> so you suffer the same thing. Absolutely. So it just it was kind of hard to kind of just be in the background. So a lot of times, what I ended up doing was applying for things with feature roles because that way I don't have to worry about mm-hmm. them taking me out. Did you have any acting training background or anything? Um, I did do. I did have some acting classes that I took in college, but like I get, like I said, I didn't take it seriously. So mm-hmm. I didn't take it seriously until I really started working. And I took some classes with Anthony Abson okay. um, to get my technique better. But so what happened was, um, I was I. I saw I'd been trying to get on power for so long doing mm-hmm. background and I never got nothing. Then they had uh on um casting networks they had a role for a featured, you know, guard or whatever it was. So I put in for it and then I got a call from the people at casting, like, yo, they like you, it's between you and another guy and uh, you know, we'll get back to you. And then I was like, Whatever, it's not gonna happen, I don't care. And then they called me and said, yo, they like you, they want you to come in. So that was season two of power. If you go back to season two, I think it's episode five I'm the guy opening the door for Ghost. The guy he said, think. He know exactly when it was. <laughs> uh, season five, seven minutes in, yeah. 42 <laughs> seconds, you see my hand grab for the doorknob. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it, it was a simple thing. All I did was open the door for him. He comes in and he talks to Julio about something and that was it. And um, I found out later on that based off of that, the actually that, it was, I did two more episodes of Power. Um that season and it was just background and then like I remember I didn't know who anybody on the show was except for 50 because I didn't watch Power 
um, the last episode I did for them on season two, um, this lady walks up to me and she's like, she looks at me, she's like, hey, you know, we really, I like how you look, man. You look good. You look good. I like how you look. You look nice. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, great. Thank you very much. And, you know, I don't know who she was and I just shrugged it off, right? Ten minutes later, somebody go, comes up to me, yo, what did she say to you? I'm like, she told me I look good. You know who that was? I'm like, no. I just created a show, Courtney Camp Agbo. And I'm like, really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. So then I think that's what planted the seed because after that, I just put it out of my mind. I was like, well, back to the hustle, back to the grind, trying to get over, get on. Mm-hmm. And I got a call from casting people talking about uh, the people from Power wanted to, wanted your number, but I wanted to make sure if it was. I said, like, give them a number. Then you get call me after. Number. Don't tell me. Don't ask. Them, call them. Give them the number. Then, you know, so he told them it was okay for them to contact me directly. They called me and said, look, we like what you did last season. We want you to come in and uh, audition for something we think might be good for you. Okay. And I did. And I did really good. And that's, I got the part. I, I, I'm telling you, I could not believe it. Mm. Could not believe it. I mean, even when it happened, I'm sitting there like, this This is, feels like a, you, a dream. What was it like meeting? Who? who like, of course, meeting 50 Cent must have been like crazy. But who on the set was like, like, what's the girl name that plays uh, Ghost Girlfriend? Oh, that's uh, Notori Norton. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that, that first that first Ooh. time walking that's in there. You want to know chocolate. who? You want to know who? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on for a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Put a pin in it. Uh, good chocolate what? Hmm? What did you say? Notori? Okay. Good that's good chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, we straighten that shit up real quick. Sweetheart. Yeah. sweetheart. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> sweetheart. No, uh, yeah, well, he's trying to take it somewhere else. Not over here. I thought she was sexy when I saw her titties in Notorious. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I feel like yeah. we all were like, well, yeah, I didn't know a, she was. You got to tell him. You got to tell him about the season three rap party. She I will. I will get that. That's a funny story. Well, I brought Justin with me to that, but you. She showed the titties. No, 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 no. no okay, no, I was about to say. Stuck on the titties. He's like, okay. So watch this. So I've met 50 Cent before. I've, I've, I, in fact, I even met 50 Cent when he was shot. Like he came to a fashion show that I was hosting. Oh, after he was shot. Wow. Yeah, after he was shot, and he was still bandaged up. Mm. Wow. So and him and LL Cool J came into this fashion show that I was doing out in Queens, and I didn't even know who he was back then. They was like this. Uh, Curtis Jackson is coming. I was like, who the fuck is Curtis Jackson? 50 Cent. I was like, okay, yeah. who the fuck is 50 Cent? And they was like, well, he, he just got shot nine times. And I was like, and he coming in the club? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> the fuck is he coming to the club for? You just got shot nine times. And sure enough, he came in, uh, bandaged up him and his boys, sat him down and all that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> afterwards, he, I didn't shake his hand. He just gave me the little nod. Yeah, yeah. He gave me the nod. Is he a germaphobe? No, no. He, he's, I don't, I don't get that from him. He's mad cool. Yeah. Um, like, no, don't get me wrong. I, I, yeah. It was, it was real cool on us meeting, but. He didn't shake my hand like he 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 gave me not because it was yeah, bandaged shot. up from yeah, could have been gunshot. Been shot, yeah, stupid Six head. foot eight head would have broke his. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I just got better, JP. <laughs> so yeah, I did meet him. So was it incredible meeting him like on the set? Or it something? was the first person to greet me that day. First day on set was Ro Timmy. He plays Dre on the show. He came right up to me. He's like, "Yo, man, I'm Ro Timmy." I said. Okay, what now, you, what now, you mean like Prince? What, what, you got a whole name? He's like, "No, you yeah, Ro Timmy. I can do the show." All right, so here we go. Now yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna really. <laughs> Everybody who's listening, please do not be shocked in a way about this. I have never watched an episode of Power. You, listen, don't feel bad. I didn't watch until I got on the show, man. I, I was, you just, know, I think it's so far gone now that I don't know where to begin. Like, I hate season one. I, I hate Sunday. I hate Sunday after the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hate looking at Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. hate look, spoilers. Yo, yeah. I, yo, people are like fuck that. Yo, oh, this bubble, and I'm like, I hate damn, spoilers. Damn, I, I, I want to be in the loop. <laughs> But I'm so far behind. Like, what episode? What season are they on? We're up to season four right now. Season and, four, uh, see? Episode nine, which we just... Episode nine was last week, so they're doing the whole marathon, and then they're going to play episode ten, and we're going to find out what happens. So it's only ten episodes per season? Episode, yeah. Ten episodes per season, yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. No, but the, the fan base is, is insane, man. Like, yeah. people don't separate the character on TV from... The person in real life. Mm-hmm. Like, I got people that come up to me in the street and say, yo, man, you still holding Tommy's phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? They think it's real life. Yeah. You got that cocaine? What? <laughs> but they don't even, they don't set it up. Like, they just come up to me like, I know who Tommy is. Yo, you got Tommy's phone? Who, 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 who Tommy? I don't know. Who the fuck got Tommy? Who's Tommy? Yeah. Oh, oh, you, oh, you watch. <laughs> you oh, yeah. guys, yeah. That's their that's, <laughs> that's they way in, right? That's yeah. Way in. <laughs> Why you always let them knock you out, man? Keep your hands up. Like, yeah, that's. Yeah, they, uh, Leonard said that. Uh, Leonard said that. Yeah, so, yeah, are you yeah. always getting knocked out in the show? It seems that way. Two but seasons like, in a row. <laughs> Ten seasons in a row. <laughs> Two seasons in a row. 
<laughs> my always, both star characters. Yeah, just today, shit. Yeah, yo. <laughs> I, I tell you this, man. I, I, I tell everybody. I said I'll take a punch before I take a bullet because there's a couple of people. Yeah, in bullets me you don't come back from. Don't come back. Yeah, so. when you wake up, you still on the show. That's right. So. Haters, all you haters getting shot. Yeah, thinking it's cool. I'm gonna get shot on the show. Okay, that, that, and see if you come back next season. That, that first season, that that season three, man, that was an epic like beatdown. Yeah, yeah. No, he. I know when you watch it, you'll see. But all the people on Facebook Live watching yeah. know what I'm talking about. They see me, my character get beat up by um by I'm, Tommy. I, I, I promise you. Sakura. I promise you. Before October gets here, I'm going to be caught up. So here's a I question: think you like it? Has has it rolled over into the comedy scene? Hell no! Hell hell to the no! I mean, well, well first God, of all, let me, damn, let me just. Bro. It's not bitterness. Um, let me put it like this. Uh, I think it's because of the the person that I am, which. Is why that some of those things don't have like that because I'm I don't know how put, I work with Justin you know what I'm saying yeah and sorry, sorry to hear that <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever <laughs> Justin is a good dude I met Justin, oh, yeah, I love Justin. my second <laughs> I think my second year in a comedy because at then I was only doing open mics and I met with Justin and Rashad and I feel I owe a lot of my comedy that is the way it is now to them you making it sound like Justin came over and said I can make you big I can no, make you no no, no you know what my name is no. Big Red. I just took him to the room. He just—he's got the list, and I, I was only doing open mics and, and sperm on cupcake jokes, if you know what I mean. Sperm? What? What? It's—it's—it's it's it's an analogy. Wait a it's a, minute! No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to get off live now. No, what no. the fuck? <laughs> Did you, you know, hear that? You shit? have got to explain. No, it's an, it's an analogy for like what what the creek He's in the making cables. fun of the white comics it, that we know. Yeah. Sperm. On. They do weird jokes. You hey, know. I know weird Todd, Todd Moderese got a joke out there. You know Todd Moderese. There's a comedian. He knows who he is. In fact, I'm going to tag him in here and tell him to watch this. He did a joke one time. Oh, I know what you're talking about. He, re- real weird, quirky black dude. He yeah, did a joke about, about being away at camp, and all his friends put assorted cookies on a plate, and they jerked off on him, and then they ate the cookies. What? And he's a black dude. That, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's the stuff I was doing <laughs> before my Justin. You didn't, didn't jerk off on cookies and eat No, it, no. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> funny. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> But he he just he took, <laughs> he took me out some to the to the real rooms where you can really get in front of actual people and do material and I, I feel like it made me a lot better as a Stronger, comedian. Yeah. So now when you talk about me being on power and, and it's just getting me work, absolutely not. I, it doesn't I, even give you notoriety, like to even get into a club. I mean, it, it's like I'm gonna have to see. If, I was telling Justin, I might see if my agent can get me in some of these clubs. I mean, I'm past the, the comic strip if that means anything. No, I, I mean it does. Like comic strip definitely has it has legacy. So it yeah, yeah. Means something. So, I, so I'm past the strip. I'm not past the Carolines. I'm not past any other club. I walk in. And how long and, have you been doing comedy now? Since 2013. You know what it is? If if I was on a show like a fucking uh, Will and Grace or some shit, or or if I was on what was that show? Gerard Carmichael's on the Carmichael show, right? Mm-hmm. And I go in a New York comedy club and I say, Hey, I'm on the Carmichael. Oh yes, I know you feel. Oh my god, what are you doing? Are you on? A, I'm on power. 99 percent of you know, and there's a lot of white people that watch Power. Don't get me wrong, but the people that run in the clubs, they don't know that shit. Yeah. Richie from the comic strip, God bless him. Kid, what what did show you say you were on? Kid, uh, Power, I never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they scared to watch it too. They, they, they don't because so, it's a black they show. Wanna, yeah, they don't you know want to see. They don't want to see that kind of real. You guys don't know nothing about it. So, so, so where, where's your comedy life going then? I'm, when you say where it's going, like what like you, like like where do you see yourself in comedy? Like what like do you see yourself continuing to pursue comedy? Absolutely. Being I, that you've been at you've already struck a chord in acting. I, I I love both, man. I think you can do both comedy and acting because comedy gives me something that I can't get from acting. It's something I used to get when I used to DJ. Like when you play the right record and the whole crowd is with you, and you can you don't even have to look at them. You could just feel the yeah. energy from the crowd that they're giving you when you DJ, and that's something I get from doing comedy. Like we did a show in Philly, um, like, was it two weeks ago or last? No, this, week? this Saturday, last we did Saturday, Johnny yeah. Blues, and we didn't have a microphone. And I'm telling you, I'm in there telling jokes that I wrote, my jokes. I instilled nobody's material, and I'm I'm just. Improvising, tagging everything, and people are just laughing, and that shit just energizes me, yeah, man. Yeah. You don't get that from acting. acting spoken, spoken like a true DJ when you said about the music, yeah. and then also like a true comedian. I don't know how like to there's no, it. there's <laughs> no better feeling to. It's like you get this is what, ladies and gentlemen, to be a comedian. This is one of the things 
you get an immediate gratification. You get an mm-hmm. immediate uh, satisfaction from the audience. If you tell a joke and it works right there, they clap right there, yeah. and you feel good right there. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's one of the that's one of the veins. That's one of the fiends of being a comedian. That no other way do you get immediate uh, approval or disapproval. That actually, there's you also get immediate gratification from like it's like Sex. online porn. You, you know, you log on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. Somebody watches a lot of porn. Yeah, it is. Everybody here. does it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> right now everybody first of all he watched I, porn. I, hold on, hold on. I ladies and gentlemen you gotta, your favorite your favorite power star hold on i just i apologize yeah. you gotta get don't your worry, daughter, she's a grown-ass woman you are, okay so i can talk about it i'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not you know i'm not yeah, a weirdo. We know don't perfect. explain yourself you're not man, a weirdo. Man, you watch he, porn yeah yeah he, he gets it sound even weirder right <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm sorry that's what makes it weird yeah i'm not a weirdo i'm just saying everybody does it everybody acts like they don't do it what the fuck is wrong with Porn you? is great because it's on demand 24-7. You can yeah. find what you want when you want it. Well, you want to know something? I watched oh. granny porn. I watched oh. I watched this granny porn the other day. And she tried to, she tried to take the DP, the double penetration, and this old lady tapped out. Yeah. And I said, that's how you should have done, Granny. You know you should, you should, you should have been in that situation. You should look up on Pornhub. Look up um like outtakes. Cause that's what I watch. The you porn watch the outtakes. outtakes. It's the funniest thing, man. You see what I'm saying? We, that shit is porn funny. has become so casual that yeah. we're now looking for the oddity in porn. You want to see yeah, where yeah. it goes wrong. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What, what happened? You don't watch amateur porn? Yeah. Yo, amateur porn could be the funniest shit in the world. Cause I like somebody, the ghetto. <laughs> yeah, because people walk in the background. Yeah, you hear the phone ring, the cell phone. Yep. You're like, what the? Yo, uh, amateur porn is the best. <laughs> Granny porn, and now I'm going to watch porn outtakes. Yeah, there you go, funny. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but that, that's what comedy is like. That's all Kevin I'm trying to make Mason easy. has told you to look at alternative <laughs> porno. Uh, it's, it's better for your soul, man. Uh, better for your soul? I think so. <laughs> you need a good laugh. Because <laughs> you got to think at some point, them people doing all that. That fucking it's some something has to, somebody got a fart or oh, yeah. some some shit has to happen where people are like what, what, what the fuck? Well, Make actually, sure. I watched that amateur porn years ago and two dudes was rocking out and the dude accidentally skeeted on the other dude oh. and the other dude had a fit. Yeah, hey, yo, what the fuck, yo? And I'm sitting there going. <laughs> Y'all cross What do you call it you, cross, the streams, you don't cross, cross the streams They cross streams What do you, what do you expect bro He crossed the streams That's just a, there, there was one I'll take I watched And the guy was Like giving it to an anal You know what I'm saying Right in the butt Okay just Poop, go shoot. all the way nasty That's it Yeah man, why, why, why did we stop at 50% Jason uh, Justin we, he, we stopped at 50 He said no nah, Take this to 100 no, hey, yeah, He know, going all the way in No yeah. I'm just saying He was doing We know what he does In the daytime <laughs> Yeah, just sit around and watch a lot of TV. I don't know. You got, you got a towel on your chair in front of the computer. I did bad. Y'all take it. I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, he got a towel right I got there. A, I got a, a, uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, no, I got. A, I got a kid now. I can't do all that stuff. Why not? <laughs> With the kid, man. I'm, man, I'm about Oh, you got a kid during the daytime. Yeah, yeah. 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 Seventeen months old, and I, I don't uh, think he'd understand. You that heard much. that right? Seventeen months old. Let's do, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do the math now. Seventeen months. He's a year and a half. Let me help you. Yeah, and a half gracious. Yeah. Like we had, like we had the uh, playground with, with all the mothers. You know how mothers—that's mother talk. That's and my, my baby is eighteen months, and my baby is twenty-two. Now, months. My wife got me on that. That's why I'm talking like that. And that's another thing too. Married. Yeah. Married or married? No, that married. Okay. It's, how long? Um. Now I got to do the math. Let me see. So two thousand. Uh, we got married in twenty ten. So that's what eight years. Seven. Excuse me. Yeah. Seven years. Okay. Yeah. And how long are you again? Uh, Same. Seven. seven. October too, right? You also October, in October? Yeah, October twenty second. Well, mine is coming eighth. up in a couple of weeks. I'm married uh, fourteen years, thirteen, fourteen years, thirteen to years. fourteen years. Uh, wow, September fourth coming up. Fourteen years. Wow, we are That's married awesome. men, fellas. Yeah, that can't like, game over. Masturbating. Okay, who anymore. cares? Who cares? <laughs> I can't explain to my seventeen month old son what I'm doing. Which got another caller, weird, man. Jeez. We got so far off the topic of comedy. I'm sorry, yeah. yo. That, I was just comparing oh, comedy to instant that's gratification. Instigate, that's instigated talk for you, bro. Hold on. Porn. Instigated talk, your boy JP Justice. What's up? Who's this? Hey, what's up? This is Tone. Tony. Hey, what up, Tone? Uh, we got my what's man. What's going on? Hold on. We got my man Anthony Mason from uh, Anthony Avery, Kevin Mason. Kevin, you, you hear me calling him Anthony, Anthony Mason? Mason play for the Knicks. Yeah, we yeah, got I'm my man say, Kevin. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? He is dead. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> we got my boy Kevin Mason from Power sitting here with us. What's up? You want to talk to him? He can hear you. But I'm, I'm just saying what's going on. Give me two tickets for Saturday, man. Oh, you want... I'm, I'm, uh, oh. Yeah. You want yeah, OP comedy yeah, show. Can you, grown folk comedy oh, Ladies show. and gentlemen, I'm sorry. This phone is is my everything phone. As you can see, <laughs> people call for comedy tickets. People call for all kind of stuff. Yo, my dude, do me a favor. 
Oh, uh, what's up, yo? Um, plus, JP, don't forget, yo, JP is one of the best guys out there, one of the funniest comedians out there. You know I got him on my show September 16th. There you go. There you go. All right, so cool. Do me a favor. I got your number right here. You just gave a call. I'm going to uh-huh. call you back and tell you about the tickets. But right now, I'm on live. If you go to Facebook, uh, we're on live right now, so... You call for tickets in the middle of a, a, a podcast. Yo, sorry, I didn't know that. No, 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 no. But, but, but on it, JP is one of the funniest Thank dudes you, bro. out there. Thank you, my dude. She Thank is. you. All right. Let All right, man. Cool. I, can I just point out that that's how when y'all say I'm a celebrity, that's how you know I'm not. He called. Caller. He called in in the middle yeah, of the show. In, but no, he called in. He's like, "Yo, we got Kevin Bates for power." Oh uh, yeah, I'm just here for two tickets <laughs> uh, for your comedy show. And I'm here like, we go. Yeah. It's getting talk. JP Justice. What's going on? Yo, what's going on? It's Wayne Payne. What's up, Kev? Oh, Wayne shit. Everybody do their best Wayne Payne. Payne. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we down Wayne here. Payne. Mocha Wayne. with Smokey Suarez, celebrity <laughs> comedian. <laughs> Mocha Mondays, you know what I'm saying? It's Wayne Payne. We're going to have some comics. Some of them going to be bad, but you yeah. know. You know, it is what it is, man. It ain't shit about bombing, you know. What up, Wayne Payne? <laughs> Wayne Peasy, baby. Yo, you, know, you know, I work with Kev on VH1 The Big. Yes, that's right. Yes, he did. Yeah, but there's a difference. This is a difference between oh, you and Kevin oh, working because you already know this is made his joke. <laughs> Kevin had a role. You was number seven oh three. Let me get what? let me get all the extras from seven hundred to seven twenty three. That's that's why that's why I fuck with Wayne Payne like that. Uh, <laughs> Wayne, Payne, Wayne Payne is working hard. Yes, and, he and, is. Yes, and he he's is. definitely going to get his. But he know I fuck with him, right? Hey, Wayne, don't I fuck with you like that? Yeah, yo. How you call your man Anthony Mason? <laughs> Anthony Mason. <laughs> he roasted me up there too. Yeah, I don't know. Anthony. He looked the same. Anthony he looked like Mason. Anthony Mason. I could have called him Kevin Brown, you know. Hey, you know. But anyway, oh, wow. I know. that's happened I, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yo, yo, Wayne, let us get back into this. Everything good with you? Yeah. Anything you want to say to my man, Ken? Mm-hmm. No. Okay, cool. I'll give you a call back. Later, oh, what's up, Wayne? Yo, Wayne, Wayne Payne, Payne is hilarious. That Ladies and gentlemen, I ain't got a chance so to. Humble. I don't have a chance to read off. Uh, if you can, yo, if you can, check your Facebook and, and read off some of these things. Because, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, I got the camera on him, so I can't read what's going on. I want to thank everybody who's definitely logged in. That's we not just, why he can't read, yo. He ain't wearing his glasses. Shout yeah. out to Rashad. Yeah. Rashad is on uh, yeah. Instagram Live. Rashad Rashid, shout out, man. What's up, Rashad Rashid? Uh, do, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we just having a good time. Sometimes instigated talk it, it has an issue, but sometimes we just have fun. And today is one of those fun topics. I'm sitting oh, here yeah. with my man, Mr. Kevin Mason. So you have been uh, you have been mistaken for Kevin Brown. Um, I, I don't want to be. I I don't know who Kevin Brown is. Who y'all talking uh, about? Thirty Rock. Oh, dot com. Dot yeah, com. No, never happened. I've okay. never been mistaken. He's bigger than me, tall and everything. But same look though. He got the yeah, same look. Yeah, so he got that mustache thing. I don't like. That's like that old What's 70s, you call 80s it? thing. That mustache. Mustache. Yeah, yeah I don't moustache. do the mustache. What, what the fuck is a mustache? <laughs> it's not a mustache. Uh, how about creating a mustache? new words. That's a what I mustache. said. How about a mustache? You making fun of my Brooklyn accent, dog man? Yo, yeah, that ain't no Brooklyn <laughs> accent. <laughs> You sound like Habibi making a sandwich. The oh, fuck? That's what I said. Mustache. You want the mustard? What are you? That, how, how you say mustard? Mustard? A mustache. What? I said mustache. Yeah, it's a fucking mustache. Right? It's a what? mustache. I feel like that's what I'm saying. A mustache. This, this guy here. New York it. public school education. Whatever. Piece. Whatever. Huey Louie Dewey School of uh, <laughs> Huey Louie Dewey. <laughs> mustache. Wait, wait. How do you say it, Tyler? How do you say it back there? Mustache? Yeah, say it again. That's what I said. No, you said a mustache. I said mustache. You said, you said a moose mustache. Oh, no, now he's trying to say it right. Mustache? Ladies and gentlemen, we got in the background, we got uh, Miss Tyler Ryan. She is a YouTuber. Hi, and she Tyler. Does a, she does quite a bit of makeup. Y'all can't see her, but she's back there. Just say what's up. You caught, so you caught me eating chicken in the background. I don't know if they saw you. I don't know either. I was trying not to get Yeah, she was all in the camera. If y'all are looking, she was in the background <laughs> eating chicken. So uh, we we got another show coming up with her pretty soon. So she's in the- Nick Alexander is on. He said, "When is the Black Grimace get a sex scene?" Oh shit! What up, Nick? He called you Black Nick? Grimace. Yeah, that's the name of my character on the show. We yeah. uh, we even talk about that. Black Grimace is the name of my character on the show. B G. Oh, I thought it was Avery. Well, that's my acting name on the show. Power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why are you laughing, man? <laughs> Wait, wait. So yeah, nah. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I, I so Avery is your acting name that you a- go by. Avery Mason. Kev, I would have gone by Kevin Mason, but Kevin Mason was already taken by an actor. And then SAG, you can't be 
have the same name as somebody else. That's someone else's brand. So I had to. I just used my middle name. Basically. Okay. Avery. So Avery Mason yeah. is your name, and your your character's name is Black the, Grimace. Black Grimace. Yeah, Black Rim. Oh, that's fucking hysterical. I'm gonna watch this shit now. <laughs> do they do they call him by Black Grimace on the they, show? They call him BG. BG or Grim. What, what's yeah. funny is the first oh day on set, everyone God. was like, everyone had their name cards up. So fifty, all right, Kanan. Uh, oh, Ghost Tommy Everybody got regular names They come around to me And was like Who's Black Grimace They're looking around Who the fuck is Black Grimace what is, what is, what is, That's you They're all asking me What, what, is, what is a Grimace I'm like yeah. I, I'm guessing it's Ronald McDonald's yeah, yeah. yeah Grimace's cousin From the wrong side of the tracks Oh my yeah. god B, just, That's hysterical I've yet to ask He's them, the nigga Grimace Yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> One more time He's the what He's the nigga Grimace the Nigga Grimace <laughs> <laughs> Nigga Grimace is in the building From yeah, Star Hashtag. We need the hashtag. I don't know. Back. I never got to hashtag ask them where they got that from. I'm like, I never got to ask Courtney. Well, no, I need to write you, 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 Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, he is. Every time I met you, and every time we hang around, you are one of the coolest, well mannered, great, humble. Dude, means a lot. but your appearance is very frightening. <laughs> I, white people are scared until you say yeah, hi, right, bro? You you got it's that deep set eyebrow. Like look at this. Yeah, eyebrow. I got a big head. Yeah, no, I grew up. Go ahead, get that. Yeah, so dude, yeah, I got about a lot of real estate up here, man. If are your wanna... eyebrows arched? No, well, you know, I got them waxed one what time. The oh fuck? my god, oh. <laughs> the women were the women were jealous of my eyebrows. They said my uh, one of my arches was on fleek. <laughs> What, no, you, is that? You, you're talking to you talking to the wrong people because we we here we look like uh, the Incredible Hawk with our eyebrows. <laughs> our eyebrows sometimes even attached. My kids be mad as shit. Like, Daddy, really? You had to give me this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we got thick eyebrows. Yeah, but, I, got, I got the forehead, man. <laughs> on on site, ladies and gentlemen, on site, you 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 look and 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 I'm only saying this so that you can get some kind of awareness. He, you look suspect. Like you look like go on Facebook Live, I, and I understand it. You know, yeah, you look like you got a gun. Like you, yeah. like you rob a motherfucker. But he is the coolest spirited yeah. dude I have ever seen and met in my life. So it, humble. It's funny because I used to get teased about it a lot, and um, when I was younger, and I was you know you know kids roast each other. That's what yeah. they do. And then it wasn't until I accepted how I looked, and I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. That people stop fucking with me. Yeah. Honestly, I used to get teased all the time. I think that's probably why I became a comedian because of, you know I got a really good sense of humor about myself. You can roast me. I haven't heard. You know, There's you nothing know, I haven't heard. You already. know what I think you need? This is what I think you need. And watch, watch this. I think you need the the school of JP Justice stand up. Mm-hmm. I think you need to roll with me for a period of time mm-hmm. and watch me critique and scope and mo- and I say this to all the young comics. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that what they're doing is wrong. But sometimes I look at comics and go this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got that gift to just look at a comic and be like, this way. Yeah. Uh, I watch the audience response. Get it this way. You got mm-hmm. it this way. Get it. Go over in this path. That's the path. You've, uh, you've, ever, you've never seen me... Um you no. never see me do stand up. I don't watch young comics. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. You going to see me soon enough, brother. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Don't, you know why <laughs> and, and, and me, don't take it personal. This is nah, why I don't watch young sure. comics. Because every young comic and their mama comes to me and go, just what you said. Did you see me? What did you think? And I'm like, dude, it's a million of you motherfuckers out here. Yeah. If I sat and talked with every one of them, I would lose my mind. But when they do come and they do catch my eye, I go, boom. Now that I've kn- now that I've known you for a while, it would be know? cool for me personally because I'm telling you, I'm not saying this just because you know I I was telling I watched him mm-hmm. I watched JP on Uptown, Comic- Comic I, I remember sitting there watching it because I, I my mother put me to go to bed and when she went to sleep I woke up snuck in the living room and turned on TV to watch Uptown Comic Club I swear to God you was on it. Oh, thank you, bro. So that would it would I mean. I'm not saying you gotta come see if you in the area where I'm performing because I'm a funny motherfucker. I'm not lying. We just sold out Caroline's. Well, what are you doing Saturday? Uh, nothing. Uh, oh, oh, I'm coming to the Grown Folk Comedy Show and I'm yes. bringing my own brown bag. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday we got the BYOBB and you heard <laughs> it, my man Black Grimace from uh, uh, Power the Power on yeah. Stars is going to be there, ladies and gentlemen. And hold on, are you finally coming through? Uh, Justin will be at the. Uh, Harlem Knights hosting the Mayweather versus McGregor fight. Oh yeah, oh, well, yeah. we already know what's going to happen. That's going to be a quick McGregor fight. McGregor going. Mayweather knock is going to win. Oh, Mayweather is going to win. But McGregor, but McGregor going to tap that motherfucking jaw, I and, don't know. and that whole sh- that, that's going to be a dancing with the stars. What you and, think? Uh, I, Talk I, about as much of MMA history. Oh yeah, yeah so we didn't even get to that. Uh, first of all, I just want to say about that fight, you folks. If you want to go see that, go see it. I think you'll find a better fight on WorldStarHipHop.com. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> 
Because I already told Justin, if that fight goes like 15 rounds, it's a work. It's, 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 it's a hustle. Ain't no more 15 rounds. Whatever, yeah. whatever, how many rounds it is, well. it's, it's stupid. He, he's mm-hmm. not a boxer. He's a, he, he's a UFC fighter. Yeah. Well, you know, if you say you're an MMA, you MMA fighter, yeah. please understand me when I say this. And, and, and hear me out. Is Mayweather going to win? He is going to win. Absolutely. Because uh, McGregor has stepped into his kingdom mm-hmm. and has stepped under his rules to come fight him. Mm-hmm. But what I am saying is stop taking McGregor for retarded, thinking that he doesn't know <laughs> no, how to can train fight. for this. He can pa- fight. He so can fight. Watch this. So he can train for this particular fight. Mm-hmm. He knows his opponent. Yeah. So he knows what to look out for. And now this is what I'm trying to tell people to factor in. When McGregor hits Mayweather with one of those paws, Mayweather is going to know that he is in a fight. And that's when you're going to realize that this will be the Dancing with Stars. Now, I will also say this. McGregor has never seen combos the way yeah. Mayweather is getting ready to rain. And he on has him. to I'm do whatever you. he can in the first four rounds. Yeah, I'm right. not a fan of Mayweather. Because the way Floyd adapts it just, to every opponent. I've seen that man. How many? I've seen him dodge four or five punches in a row. And I'm just like, I've never seen anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His eye contact is just I'm incredible. Just, yeah, yeah. So I, I just don't think the fight's going to last long. Yeah, but back to the MMA stuff. Um, when, I, when I was doing radio and I was just starting to do comedy... I was almost 300 pounds at the time, and um, I was like, I had to do something to get into shape. And uh, I started doing MMA, and I dropped like 30 pounds, and I learned how to fight. Um, was you a fighter growing up? No, you like I, a cool I was dude, a runner man. growing up. Yeah, ran a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a school, jogger, nigga. I was school, a sprinter. School running or getting the fuck out of the fight? You no, know, school running and getting the fuck out of the fight. Was man. uh was was Dewey? That dangerous? It, it wasn't really Dewey. Uh, it was more so when I was in elementary school and junior high school. I, I went to junior thought, high school one thirteen. I thought he was about ready to say it was in the neighborhood Park Slope. Nah, 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 nah. No, nice Park says, slope. Nah, Park my slope. mother never let me outside. Nice I come home from school inside. I couldn't be outside hanging out. So that's like Caribbean. That's like Caribbean. Nothing. Life. Yeah, nothing ever happened. But junior high school and uh, elementary I used to run home from school a lot because I didn't know how to fight. I didn't grow up with my dad, so you know most of the stuff I learned was watching TV, and that shit didn't work in real life. Yeah. Tell the bully no. <laughs> No, I'm not giving you my lunch tickets. Ah! <laughs> didn't work. What the fuck is that? Tell the bully no. Shit didn't work. I'm going to tell the police officers you. He's yeah. stealing my lunch money. That's hilarious, took my, bro. Took my Jansport strings, took my lunch tickets. You know, remember when they used to steal Jansport strings? What, what is Jansport? Ja- Wait, backpack. you mean the strings off the zipper? Yes. You never got... That was a thing? Well, when they couldn't what? get... What, listen. Steal the strings off your Jansport zipper? That was the thing. In Brooklyn, at least, I went to 113. That never happened slope. to me. No, yeah, no, 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 no. That's park slope shit. I need somebody from Brooklyn to back me up here, because yeah, I went to 113. Back you up on that shit, man. Yeah. Look, People look, used to, you know what else they stole? They stole his hummus. <laughs> what? His <laughs> kale. What? His <laughs> kale. No, no. <laughs> I don't know if anybody out there watching on live or listening went to 113, but this is the thing. When they couldn't get no money off of you, when yeah. I, I didn't have no money, but we, we, we grew up broke. I, you know what I'm saying? Family of th- <laughs> Look at your- three kids, one mother, we didn't have no bread. So when they couldn't get no money off of me, they weren't taking my Olympian sneakers or my kangaroos. So they were like, right. well, give me the strings off your book bag. Can I give you, can I give you a, okay, I'm going to give you a, a, a confession. So back in the days when Gazelles first came out and it hit so big, because Gazelles, when they first came out, Oh my God! Everybody and their mama wanted a pair of gazelles. I was coming, you know, City College. We walked yeah, in the yeah. City College. You know that big lawn that goes down as you go down. Yeah. I got caught on that lawn, and a dude robbed me for my gazelles with a rubber mallet. He had no gun. He had no knife. He had a rubber mallet, and I was sitting there thinking how hard that mallet would knock my ass out for some glasses. Yeah, that was, yeah, I gave him my glasses, and he just wa- listen. He what? walked away. Did he put them on? Before? I don't know, but he didn't even respect me as a victim to run. To run. <laughs> he just turned and walked away with the rubber mallet in my glasses. Mm, that's <laughs> that's a punk move, wasn't it? That is funny. Didn't even run, just walked. Yeah, I, I, if, if I were, watch this, I'm bullshit, but I probably even heard him mumbling. Yeah, these some good ass glasses, man. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Punk ass motherfucker with this give me, give me, give me rubber ass mallet. Uh, but actually, his name was Robert Taylor, and later on, he became a crackhead. And I seen wow. him in the street, and I laughed at him when he asked me for money. Karma, karma, but karma. Hashtag karma. Yeah, but um, M- MMA was only for about two years, and then um, then I, I studied martial arts. 
It was there. I studied martial arts. It's, it, MMA is great. Yeah, no, I, I combination of everything. Chinese goju and Japanese Shotokan. You see, cool. people wouldn't think somebody like me and JP would do that because we mad big. They just figure you just punch somebody, but you know, you know, there's something to knowing how to handle yourself. You know, you know? I, I actually laugh when I see regular fights because I say to myself, the average person yeah. doesn't know how to fight. Yeah, they don't. Know no, they anything. don't. They don't know how to fight. People fight for survival, and and your survival fight. To a fighter, yeah, is laughable because I'm saying to myself, he left himself open here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. I could trip him Can't here. Can't throw a punch like that. Back right. you out. I'll, like I'll kick him here. You know, just the fact that the things that you're not aware of that mm-hmm. I'm aware of in the fight, and and in actuality, my nickname in in my dojo is technician because I watch you as you as you fight. That's why I'm sitting here telling people about the Mayweather McGregor fight. Like mm-hmm. I'm a technician. I'm looking at the two, saying to myself, yeah, he, Mayweather gonna get it. But McGregor... He's going to get something. He's going to get something. But Let me tell you, when McGregor go pop one time, that whole shit going to be dancing with the stars. He's going to have to take like 20 you punches. You catch him first. He's get like 20 punches you in see, the head and before he gets the, that one punch. Watch this. Exactly. Say that again, bro. What'd you say? As he's going to take 20 punches to the head before he, he gets one punch. He's going to take 20 punches, but when when Mayweather feel that first... You got to understand, the punch of an MMA fighter, yeah, that's an pound for pound, has punch. way more power than a, a boxer. boxer. Yes. Than a boxer. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, you put a thicker glove on him, but this yeah. man is going to be hitting from the hip. Yeah. He's throwing his yep. punches from the hip. And well, when the gloves the gloves just protect the hands. Yo, the watch this. They still going to be hitting hard. And when that glove go pop, and I said it like that on purpose, people, when it pop Mayweather one time, yes, yes. you're going to see that yeah. motherfucker dance. The eye of the tiger. Yeah. We'll see. <clears throat> he going to dance. I got a, I got, listen, everybody want to bet. I got $50. That if McGregor pop him one time, mm-hmm. you gonna see Mayweather dance. I I, I agree. I can't bet against it. I agree. One yeah. hit. One, one Mike Tyson hit. said it the best. One point. You got a plan. So you get punched in the mouth. And all of a sudden, it, everything changes. Everything changes. Everything. That whole boxing match becomes an audible. You're supposed yeah. to do it in his voice, man. All right. So here we go. Uh, I just got random questions for you. Uh, random questions. Oh wait. I'm um, so yeah. I, I finished saying the MMA stuff, and I got to no. tell you the, the story from what Justin. This is hilarious. Oh yeah, dude. The the, the season wrap party. Yeah, my God. But yeah, yeah MMA was a two year thing. I had like two minor fights, and then I kind of gave it up. But I love it because it gave me confidence. Walk around the yeah. street. I'm yeah. not worried about nothing. Yeah. Everybody want to test me because someone me get knocked on a pile. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's, it's yeah. not TV. This is real life. This is real and life. You can get. No, I'm you stopping. get it. You <laughs> get it. All right. So tell me about this party because I want to. I want to. I got these random questions. All right. So we we go to the season three rap party. You know what I'm saying? And like, how can we shaking his head? And like, because he know he know what I'm about <laughs> to say. Is I tell this. I told the Does story on stage like once or twice. Getting a new tattoo. What? No. That seems what, like what something is this, that the hangover. What are you talking about? <laughs> seems like something I would do with. <laughs> that's not something you would bring somebody with yeah, you. No, it's yeah, so yeah. like a solo I don't know activity. What he's talking about. So, but, so what but, happened at this rap party? So we go. I couldn't take my wife because she was pregnant at the time, and I didn't know who else to ask. So I see she you. called me. She called me. Yeah, me. she did, she definitely did not. But uh, <laughs> 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 I'm not sure she knows who you are. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if she that's did, why. we got something to talk about. That's if she funny. did, we got something to talk about. What the hell? You know. She, <laughs> Nah. I'm not dead, baby. My son is kind of light skinned, JP. We got to. <laughs> yeah, that day is my baby. That's my son, baby, pappy. <laughs> now, nah, we went to this rap party and I brought Justin because, you know, me and Justin had just kind of started hanging. We vibe really good, both in the comics, yeah, wrestling, and all that. Guy. You're both great guys. So we, we go and we're chilling. F- f- drinks is free. Everything is flowing. Pizza, food. We're just chilling. And then 50 walks in. No entourage, just one big motherfucking Stop security for one guard. Second. Stop. Listen. Did you scream like a bitch? And want to get a tattoo on your chest? No. <laughs> when I, I didn't yell out Gene. You no, know, he didn't. He did not yell out I G. wanted to. <laughs> Started doing 50 cents. Started doing 50 for his album in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> Life's on the line. Like, what? A what, the Tony Ayo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, so 50 comes in, one, one big ass bodyguard, and everybody just kind of comes to him like a magnet. He's taking pictures with women. Just blonde white women just taking pictures with every woman he could find. Boom, boom, boom. So Justin turns around and sees him. And he's like, "Oh, yo, Kev, I feel like I want to take a picture with Fifty, man. I want to take a picture <laughs> with Fifty. Justin, you know, Justin, I'm not even doing it right because Justin got really excited. You know mm. what I'm saying? I want to take a picture with Fifty, man. Come on. Dang. He said it. He said it. He, he said it twice in a row. So I knew he really wanted that picture. So I was like, "All right, look, just let me go over there and talk to him, and I set it up, and then you come." And you know, get the picture. Me thinking that because I did the two episodes on season three, that you know we in there. I go right up to fifth. 
Hey, Fifth, what's going on? I said, hey, Fifth, what's up? He turns around and says, what's going on, bro? He dapped me up and said, before I can say anything, here come this nigga here. Hey, 50, man, we're both comics, both really big fans of yours, man. Just wonder if we get a picture. Man, I'd just true. love to get a picture with you hold right on. now. Hold up, hold up. Very true. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, in other words, Jason said, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he Dang. screamed. I mean... I left him standing somewhere, so yeah, I don't yeah. know how he got from where he was standing to where we was at. But he just appeared out of nowhere, like, "Yo, Fifty, we're really big fans of the show. Both comedians. We just want to get a really." I'm like, just hit him with the a aha. <laughs> disappeared. I'm like, disappear. why would you tell him we're comedians? I'm on the show. Let me just set it up. So he did that. Fifty was he, he was like, "Yo, can I get a picture, man?" And Fifty was like, huh, "Yeah, you get a picture." Then this nigga turned around and walked off. Oh, <laughs> uh, you disrespected him, and he had to go back to work with him. That's nah. fucked up You did that Jason But it gets worse It gets worse I go I say Justin What what, what the hell man What was that You, you can like, contain yourself <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so I said look Let me just Shit Stay yeah. right here Let me try again I said I'm here I'm gonna try again I'm not just gonna walk I go mm-hmm. back over I see 050 man He turns around I said My bad man My boy's just really excited Listen I'm on the show I did two episodes season. He just wants to get a picture of me You think you can help us out. He was like, "Yeah, all right." So he could turn back around and walk back to this oh. conversation. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "It was you ever you, you ever play Mortal Kombat when it's like fatality and the bones pop out the body and the skin falls? That's what the shit felt like." I like get it. <laughs> yeah, let me just pick up my skin and just go back yeah. by Justin over there. So, are you cool with him now? Oh yeah, he knows who I am now. I mean, we want to. You know, is I don't he going know if, with you to the season four rap party? Was oh no, we already had the rap party in March. Did, did you bring him with you? No, I brought my wife. She was mad because I, she was pregnant, but she couldn't drink. So this time I brought her. She, she pregnant again? No, 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 no. Season three, she was pregnant, so she couldn't come to that rap party. But season four, she, she wasn't. So she wanted okay. to get all the free drinks and food. So I brought her. Trying to get her pregnant again? Uh, not yet. Not till I get that big movie role. I gotta. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, at least you got a child, and I got kids. Uh, you got bodyguards, man. How tall are you? You looking at me for? No, no, hold, hold on, wait. Five ten. How many kids do you have? Uh, Seventeen. Did that. <laughs> four daughters. They got all. Four daughters. You, like, you got bodyguards. They're all tall too, ain't yeah, they? Yeah, four daughters. To protect them, daughters. man. That's. An, I wish I had you know somebody around me like you know. Protect. You yeah. can fight. You can fight. No, that's why I'm getting beat up. Yeah. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> My daughters. She, they, they're nice women. Oh. Um, but, Good uh, job, Dad. Good job. Yeah, I try. I try. I try. Uh, very beautiful young ladies. I have my four daughters. But uh, so, so what else is on? The, what's on the chopping block? Like, are you are you still auditioning? I am still auditioning. Um, I just uh, filmed the last OG with uh, Tracy Morgan, and that's coming out. Uh, the last OG. What's that? It's a new uh, show with Tracy Tracy Morgan coming out on TBS. It's Tracy Morgan, Tiffany Haddish, uh, Derek Gaines. Tiffany Haddish is in a show uh, yeah. with Tracy Morgan. Yeah, she is. Hold that up, shout is. out to Wayne Payne. There's a couple that, people on Facebook Live shout outs. Pernell in the house. What up, Pernell? Shout out Pernell. to Pernell. That Patricia, girl. Nick, Wayne, everybody checking in. That girl, uh, Haddish, is killing it right now. Yes, yeah, she is. She's so, so nice. So she's no man. longer on Carmichael. I, I don't know what's going on with that show. I just know they're filming The Last OG right now. Um, so they're filming it right now, and you mm-hmm. got a regular role? or just a- No, I just did a, it was a guest star. I don't know if a guest star. I call it a co-star is the right okay. term. Okay. I, I had a scene. I don't want to spoil it. I don't know how much of it I can say. So when does it premiere? I don't know. They're still filming, so it might be okay. some time. Okay. He was just at Caroline's this weekend. Yes, he was. He's, he, that dude, Tracy Morgan, let me tell you something, man. That brother had the worst things happen to him, and he comes to set. And I'm thinking, all right, let me just not bother the stars. Let me just leave. He comes to set. He's like, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Yo, it's a blessed day today. He comes right up to me. Hey, excuse me. What's your name? I'm like, Avery, pleasure to meet you, bro. Yo, it's a blessed day today. Everything good? Everybody taking care of you, bro? I'm like, yeah, yo, I like your sneakers, man. And moves on to the next person. And he was just, hey, first of all, also, he wrote, <laughs> everybody's taking vans to go to set. Mm-hmm. He gets a Rolls Royce. Wherever we go to set, hops in the Rolls Royce, goes to the next scene, and I'm just like, Are "What's you up?" Serious? I'm dead serious, and I'm like, "Where did Rolls Royce come from?" Yo, that's the Walmart money, my dude. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, let me tell you about Tracy Morgan. I remember the very first day he walked into a comedy club and they refused him because he wow. had a blunt in his ear, a forty in his pocket, <laughs> and they said, "Brother, you got to come back on another day." I'm gonna come back on the next day, and when he came back, thus began the career of Tracy Morgan. So I was there actually day one. I know yeah. Tracy quite well. 
A big shout out to Tracy. Congratulations to Tracy and and uh and Tiffany Haddish. I'm glad Tiffany Haddish. What a what a lovely person, man. I mean, she was mad cool to me. Nobody was stuck up, which what I liked, man. Yeah, because when you get money, you ain't when you get money, you ain't got to be stuck up, bro. Yeah, stuck up motherfuckers is the ones who ain't got no loot, b. Yeah, people expect that of me, which is why I'm glad I'm on the show. Listen, if you want to book me. I don't have I have an agent But that's for TV If you want to book me Book me Don't be afraid I am funny And I will deliver I got a good 15 minutes So what (laughs) Did he just What did he just do I got a good 15 minutes He just said Hey yo Listen to everybody I got a little car But the car runs (laughs) I got a good 15 minutes That's what he said I I don't have an hour But y'all can book me Don't be afraid You know what I'm saying If you want to I don't care about Where I go on the car First, second, third It don't matter to me You don't Tell you the truth Uh, What's his name Uh, Kevin No, 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 no no. Ah, Tucker Chris Tucker Yeah Toured the country With only 15 minutes And made top dollar As a uh, closing act With 15 minutes of comedy that's all you need. So, wow. Yeah, and Solid and believe me, and, and powerful fifteen. Mm-hmm. Pissed off, man. Pissed off. You know, pissed mm-hmm. off, man. I had roses and rats, man. Like crimson bloods. Like crimson bloods, man. Like crimson bloods, man. <laughs> is so. that my hoe on the curb? Yeah, is that my hoe on the curb? I said, bitch, come here, come here, bitch, come here, girl, come here, girl. That <laughs> yeah. shit was great. I gotta watch that. I gotta. That watch Netflix that. special was trash. I love Chris Tucker, but that Netflix, that Netflix special was so trash. I'm oh my sorry, god, let's man. not even talk about because Tracy Morgan's Netflix special was trash too. I like Tracy, but, but you I've work with him, him, so don't don't I, you say nothing. Let me say it. Mm-hmm. Oh. That Netflix special was gibbage. I, I thought it had some funny parts. In there. Yeah, I okay, you it. working with him? Listen to me, I, ladies and gentlemen. Gibbage. In fact, I'm doing a whole uh, podcast review on stand up comedy shows, mm-hmm. uh, comics on comics, uh, and we're actually going to be sitting down talking about these. Comedy, uh, because uh, Netflix is killing it right now. Absolutely. Let yes. me ask you a question, both of you guys. Yeah. If Netflix came and said, "I want to do a special with you," uh, and HBO said, "I want to do a special with you," which one would you do? I'm going with Netflix. Who are you going with? Netflix. Why? Why you say? Netflix is worldwide. HBO, I mean, it's worldwide too, but not everybody can afford that that eleven dollars a month. You know, it was a time when. Everybody wanted an HBO special. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that and was now thing. no one wants an HBO special. It's almost like yeah. you disrespect it when HBO go, "Hey, I got a special." What? So what, nigga? I'm gonna get some chicken like, myself. Ew. But Netflix is paying money. Like paying real money. HBO dollar. is yeah. like not giving as much as Netflix. Netflix is killing so. the game right now. What was your What was your top uh, uh, comedy special this year? I'm not gonna lie to you. I watched the one I watched is Chappelle on Netflix. <sighs> My God! To first me, one, the second one. Uh, the first one, the second one. I didn't find because the second one has old jokes that I kind of heard already when yeah. he did it in San Antonio. But that I didn't. Let me tell you something. What yeah. I thought after he left Chappelle's show, I was like, Yo, maybe he just fell off. Yeah. I didn't, but that special had me rolling. Yo, when he said rolling. the cop came over to him and said, "I'll let you blow for it." What? He said, "My breathalyzer." He said, "Man, I thought you wanted to get your dick sucked." Man, <laughs> I fell the fuck out. Me. I, <laughs> I play that shit back sometimes just to hear that one little part. Man, I thought you wouldn't get your dicks up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That shit was hysterical. Dave Chappelle is definitely back on top. Uh, that's, my, that's favorite, favorite special. my favorite specials right now are the Louis C.K.'s. I've been checking them yeah, out. Very funny guy. Very funny guy. All right, those so here you go. Great. Some random questions. Ready? Random questions. I'm ready for the random questions. Bring them on. All right. Uh, favorite food? Fried chicken. Really? I love fried chicken, dude. You from Grenada? You know? I know, I know. And let me tell you something. I love, I love oxtail. I love. Yeah, but man. You put up a piece of, I mean, smelling the fried chicken cook, and then eating it. Yeah, there's nothing like it. Fried chicken, okay. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know if you travel, but favorite place you travel? Uh, my favorite place I, I've ever been was uh, Costa Rica. I mean, I love. I'm from Trinidad, Grenada. Love both islands, but I was on my honeymoon. And Costa Rica was absolutely fabulous, yeah. man. I had, we had the place too. to ourselves because we went in the middle of the week. Nobody was there, man. They yeah. had drinks in the room. I mean, the, the island was beautiful. It was yeah. lush. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it was great, man. Nice, nice, great. nice. Costa Rica is beautiful. Uh, fa- uh, favorite song you're listening to right now? What's in your What's in your What's in your uh, playlist? Um. Favorite new song or old school? Because no, be, I'm a new, DJ. New. I got generations of oh, music that's right, in my that's head. Right, so. That's right. Oh. Are you are you uh 
Somebody is calling on your Facebook Live. I don't know who. Oh that my God, is. that's really people calling. Oh, and I really got to take that call. Too. Are they trying to talk? To, you want me just yeah, to take on, over for a minute? On, hold or on. You gotta. Hello. Hello. You just got to put it on speakerphone, JP. Oh, we got to put it on speakerphone. <laughs> Hey, Shikwala, I'm in the middle of a, a podcast. Let me give you a call in like 10, 15 minutes. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, y'all are hearing this phone call, but I got to take this. Let me give you a call. I'm in the middle of this podcast, and I promise I'll call you as soon as I get a chance, okay? Hi, All Shikwala. Cool. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. People are like, what the? I thought that was one of your phones. That was my phone. Uh-huh. I have my phone on silent. All right. Uh, <laughs> I thought you was listening. You're not listening to... um. Uh, if there's a new artist out that I'm Cardi listening B. to, I, I don't think Cardi B I song is it. How's it go again? Yeah. When you talking about me, don't you get it? Yeah. I make money moves. I ain't got a dozen yeah. yeah. no more. I make money moves. What is it? This is red bottoms. This is blood shoes. What's a bodak? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. Cardi. Yeah, so you don't fuck with Cardi B? Nah, I mean, I like the song. It's good, but I don't understand, like, I don't, I don't feel like her. people I don't understand that And then If you've ever seen her On Love and Hip Hop I only watched one episode That she was on And she's talking I'm like yo is, Where is she from They're From the Bronx I, People from the Bronx Don't talk well, like no, that No no she's actually from uh, uh, What do you call that up there Like the, the Bronx uh, Dominican land Up there he said the white Washington uh, Heights. Washington she, Heights. And that she's like in the middle. She from the Heights, there. bro. Because yeah. when she talks, she talk like this, man. I don't she feel like money. everybody don't understand what she's saying. With. I'm like, who talks like that? It's well, an act. Let me tell well, you, a lot of these people you hear them talking is not how they are. Oh, in for sure, real for sure, for life. sure. <laughs> so you ain't on. Uh, what's that, Rihanna? Uh, nah, Khaled. wild wild thoughts. Uh, nah, I fuck with Kendrick. And that song, humble. Oh my god. Sit man. down. Be humble. Yo, that Kendrick Lamar. Sit down. That beast. shit. Four four four. Yeah, four four four. I got that. Yeah, yeah, I bought that. That's oh my god, the story of OJ. I, I must have watched that video like yeah, I put up 10, a couple of, 12 times. Yeah, man. I put that. I put ten thousand on that on that. Jesus, count yeah, <laughs> I put ten thousand on that count. Right? You watch it? Yeah. How many yeah, count? How many yeah. you put on the count? I don't know. I, I watched yeah. it a lot. Watch it a couple. Justin times. quiet over here. Justin, no, enjoy what? Are yeah, you <laughs> quiet over here, bro? You are supposed to be the life. You, you got life. Even though Kev is, I like Kev. Kev is bringing it in the conversation. Yeah. He's, he's good. I, 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 you I got this is his interview. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, Trump, your views on Trump? Fuck Trump. Trump is the reason why I don't watch the news anymore. I don't watch the news at all. Period. I watch Brooklyn News, Local Twelve, Optimum Twelve. News. Hey yo, give me some on Channel Twelve. Bro. Yeah, that shit is. That's what I want. I don't. I fucking watch the Day Show and they're talking about cake fucking recipes. I want to know what's going on around the corner. Is this nigga Quan getting out of jail? Do I need to? <laughs> do yo, I need to be prepared for that shit? They, they didn't tell yo, you that shit. That's what's, what I what's the slogan? Uh, Local news Hyper local yeah Local news as local as local can get That means it motherfuckers is right outside your door That's that's all I need But listen I watch channel 12 news For the mess ups Once again Sometimes they be in the middle of a broadcast And the lighter go out yeah, yo, I was watching. They was doing. They was doing the weather. Budget cut. Yo, they was doing the weather, and the whole set got black. And you hear the guy go, "Give us one second for us to put the lights back on." Yeah. I said, "God damn!" Uh, they do a whole little thing, and you hear the mic go like, all of a sudden, be talking, and all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, this is just what it sounds like. It goes, "Is it?" <laughs> and then they come back I'm sorry Audio went out uh, Let's say that part again I be on the floor bro Yeah it's it's, it's JV News reporting But they yeah. have some Good looking like Traffic oh. and weather reporters Oh and, yeah um, Yeah hey, yo, one of my I favorites it was just me No 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 <laughs> One of my favorites is And I don't know if she listens But if she is She gotta know this Noni Hodges Flakes She's so cute Because when she first started She couldn't get through The forecast So she'd be trying To give you the forecast She'd be like It is Um uh, bright outside <laughs> It's 70, 75 degrees oh, um, And she be stammering and nervous I thought that was the cutest thing <laughs> Yo, I was like that's so cute I love Nodi Hodges place Ladies and gentlemen Post your favorite Travel uh, yeah, Your favorite anchor person Not just yeah. Not just Post your favorite anchor person Whoever Because some of these ladies yeah. Who was the one that wilded out Huh uh, Who was the, the news anchor She wilded oh, out Sue Simmons Sue, Sue Simmons. Simmons The, the fuck first? is your problem yeah, she, yeah. Thought, she thought the mic was off yeah, I, I, that's not the first. Time. She's done that before. Yeah, oh, yeah. Video she, she and the mic was on. What the she fuck gangsta. is your problem? Yeah. The fuck you know are you what? doing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Rolanda Watts is also a gangster too. I don't know. If you <laughs> yeah, know yeah. Rolanda. Rolanda Watts do not play. No. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we in here. I want to thank you for coming through, man. We are. Uh, do we get everything? Did I forget anything? We got. Oh, bro, listen. This ain't your last time. Now oh, that you're not okay, here. okay. No, we got. Yo, listen. Now that we, we got a lot of stories about comedy. I didn't even get into because y'all you, talked about comedy beef, and I seen some shit that 
we didn't even talk about. Well, his, he know my favorite beef. No, not, I know I heard it last week, but I'm talking about. With, um, can I say names? Yeah, yeah whatever. Shit, I, I'm not. I, I love everybody. I'm not a fighter. Ain't no beef, man. Um, I don't. I don't like being politically correct. We living in a time where people try to mince words and it makes shit too hard to talk. Mm-hmm. He had an issue with Freddie Ricks, and I was there that witnessed that, Who that did? night. Justin Ramos. You did you serious? not tell him the story? I thought he knew. Oh my god! You know we was at a show. Now, do you want to? T- no, first co- you hold got on, his on, version. On, you got the on, version of let, person. Let me, let me, please let me say this. <laughs> what, ladies and gentlemen? And don't get me wrong. By all means, speak your mind. Mm-hmm. I'm not here. To no, 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 no. We was no, at a show and no, wait, we wait, had wait, a snapping wait, session. Wait, let me let me say this. <laughs> first off, speak your mind. I love everyone. So do I. Freddie Ricks is like a big brother to me. So when you sitting here telling me this, I'm I'm already amazed that you even got into it with Freddie Ricks. Yeah, now, it was what a session. I'm gonna tell you. He gonna tell you because he was in it, and I'm gonna tell you because I was on the outside looking at. Go ahead, Justin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we was at uh, Footprints, and uh, Steffi was on stage, and you know how small Footprints is. Yeah. So she heard me say, "Good night, I'm Stephanie McCray," and she was like, "He's yelling out my punchlines," and I was like, "What?" So she started snapping on me. Then I go on, I bomb. At footprints like everyone does that I know. Mm-hmm. And then Freddie <laughs> he started snapping on me. And I was like, yo, I'm not in the mood, just chill, chill, chill. And he said, I forgot what he said. And I was like, what's the last movie you was in? Shaft? And the whole crowd was like, Whoa! Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me tell you about that. And that was it. Yo, let me tell you. It was cool like a couple you weeks later. You such a smart ass that I could imagine that <laughs> shit coming out. Like really sarcastic. You are such a fucking smart ass. Yeah. That it probably wasn't what you said. It was how you said it. Uh, so oh no, what it was how I said it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and then I, I saw him like a couple weeks later, and we pounded. Yeah, it's yeah. nothing. Yeah, Re- that's Freddy small is, stuff. Yo, Freddie is such a bigger dude than that. Like uh, he yeah. understands. He understands the what's name. Uh, he's one of the dudes that I always tell you that if you are, uh, if you got time, sit down and kick it with him. You want to talk with Freddie? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Freddie is a great bundle of knowledge and his moral stance in life is incredible. And he does some, voices. Because yeah. sometimes in this business we lose ourselves morally. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you need that you need that uh what do you call that? That that tower. Yeah. That light tower. Yeah, that moral you know compass. Moral and, compass. And and that's definitely what Freddie yeah. brings to the game. So Freddie was Freddie was a cool dude and uh, he does that Shakespeare thing which makes me laugh every time. This is gentleman love us all and he does it really good. <laughs> yeah, man. I like the redneck but one. It, so from the outsider perspective looking in um, we came to the show tonight Justin said to me earlier he was having a bad day said he didn't want to go up said I'm not trying to go up just trying to hang out chill watch comedy Stephanie's going on just come watch Stephanie now it is a small room Justin knows Stephanie's set so we were sitting at the side and he was just telling me the set it wasn't being loud the room was loud but Stephanie could hear him talking to me because he's right there she could hear everybody, but she could hear him specifically because just because we, we're he was right just next like, to her. Yeah. He knows her set. He was like, "Look, she's gonna say this, this," and I was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, cool." But she thought he was being a lot louder, and it wasn't that loud. But she heard loud enough for her to hear him. So she said, "Justin, what are you doing? Why are you saying my punchlines?" Uh, it's like an auntie giving you a spanking yeah. on the mic. Stephanie's so cool too, man. Yeah, <laughs> yo, I just <laughs> Stephanie and, and she probably listens because she listens in. Uh, Stephanie, you are such a fucking cool. But sometimes she could be such a hothead. I just want to mm. choke the shit out of some time. I just want to just, Stephanie, you just shut the fuck up. He's so stupid. Stephanie, would you just shut the fuck up? Stephanie, would you just shut the fuck up? But she's such uh, she, for the Ladies and gentlemen, because she gets into quite a bit of little tiffs out there. Anybody that gets a tiff, into a tiff with Stephanie, my question is, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> right? Because what Stephanie doesn't just do? wake up in the morning and go, I'm going to start with this person and that person. Stephanie is someone who's big on respect. Yeah, Stephanie's mad so cool. So she's mad cool until you crossed the line. And then when yeah. you cross the line, mm-hmm. she sees blood. So when you get into a problem with Stephanie, what did you do? Check yourself. Because mm-hmm. she jokes and laughs with everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah she does. She, she yeah. jokes and laughs with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So big shout out hey, to my she'll girl. Cut you. Yeah. No, I have yeah. no problem with I love yeah. Stephanie McCray. She's one of the realest people. And I appreciate with somebody who just yeah. don't bullshit with you. It's like, yeah, Kev, you was terrible. That joke was not funny. You <laughs> yeah. need to go home and oh, work on God. that. And I'm like, thank you, Stephanie. I did appreciate you see the beef it. Between what jokes was and, that? Did you, did you hmm? see the beef between me and uh, Akeisha Kashmir? We heard about it. I don't I, even know who she is. I don't know who that is. Who's Akeisha? I don't uh, know what it is, but I heard about it. Yeah, you heard about it. Yeah, and then on Stephanie Instagram. just Stephanie just on Instagram. I mean, uh, was it Facebook? Facebook? Yeah, I was about to say. And then Stephanie hit her up with, "Well, take the joke. I hope it worked for you because the rest of your set is trash." Oh. I said, "God 
bang, yeah, bang, yeah. bang, bang, bang. Shots, shots fired. God. So Damn. Stephanie keeps going in on Justin, and she doesn't really finish her set. And then she gets off stage, and Freddie comes up. He's like, Justin, what are you doing, man? Why are you calling a punchline, man? That's not right. I'll tell you what, you know what? And just that... Ladies and gentlemen, next comedian coming to the stage, Justin Ramos. And Justin didn't want to go up. <laughs> he was not. He was in a bad mood. He had a rough day yeah. at work, so he went up there. And the bombed. energy was not there at all. So it was it was doomed from the start. Well, first off, footprints is the type of room, ladies and gentlemen. Footprints on on that's the one on Farragut. Yeah, when Farragut. Are you can light when yourself Clara on Dunn. fire there. They still won't <laughs> laugh. Clara Dunn and Farragut. not funny. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not funny. I'm like, not no, funny. No, it's it's the type of room. It's one of the realest rooms we got in New York. Yep. And it's a room that I definitely tell Con to go in and get your stripes because uh, it's it's real. It's a real room. They don't care what no, your credits you are. Earn, you could yeah. be Obama in there. And they don't give Obama, a fuck. They will, blow, yeah. they will boo your fucking ass yeah, you, in there. You got to earn. I'd rather get booed than what happened when I bombed it. There's just no reaction. <laughs> I yeah. would take a boot. That means somebody's at least listening and they want yeah. me to do better. But no, no noise. Oof. I said it all the time. I said that comment is much rather the boot. But uh, yeah, so so Freddie comes up, brings him up. Justin bombs. Did not want to be up there. I can tell by his body language. And then Fred comes up. See, see, Fred's like, see, that's what you get. See, when you come up here, you stay up the cops punchlines. You come up here, that's what happens. And Justin's like, yo, Fred, I'm not at boot right now. He's like, what you mean you're not at boot? This is my room, brother. Don't you ever disrespect my room? And then Justin, they just. It just went from there. Justin was like, he said this thing about Shaft. I forget what Freddie said. Oh, I don't remember what he said. Don't even matter. All I know is yeah. that I'm watching people start standing up around Justin. Yeah. And it's just me and him there. And Stephanie was sitting next to me. And I'm like, I say to Stephanie. That's, uh, that's Freddie's home. That's his house. Yeah. Them Jamaicans love People him. started standing up. And the DJ started cussing at Justin. I say to Stephanie, uh, I guess we yeah. should probably go now, huh? We should probably go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, they, so, love, they love uh, Freddie. I walk towards the door. And I'm like, Justin, Justin. Justin, Justin. We was already leaving, yeah. and then the the, the DJ, the, the DJ he, yeah. he started popping off, and that's when I just blacked out. Yeah, I just yeah. started going He's off. Like, so like, what the fuck you going to do? I'm like, yo, Justin, let's just go, please. <laughs> yeah. Let's Are just you go. Serious, bro? Yeah, the DJ was coming up behind me. How long me. ago was this? Oh shit. Almost a year ago. No, it was, oh. more, it was more than that. Like, oh, nigga, I thought y'all was talking about some shit a couple of weeks ago. I was oh, yeah, about to no, oh. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Oh, they, they it was a long time, time ago. Yeah, no, we said it was a long time yeah, ago. Said, oh, these niggas telling me. They always bringing up old shit, man. Yeah, I'm fuck, yeah, yo. yeah, when this happened? When I was in high school. <laughs> what? They bringing up old shit. <laughs> what? No, nah, but DJ was trying to fight. I said, nigga, just, it's old. No, he, no, he not. Listen, pleasure gets it in. He's a martial artist. In fact, he's a martial artist. For real, for real. Yeah, so anyway, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I, whatever, uh, but whatever yeah. the case may be, I'm glad y'all guys hashed it out because that's definitely family Get me over there, and you guys are yeah. definitely family. I hate when I hear, <laughs> I hate when I hear like like good people that I know, you know, get into it. I'm like, nah. Yeah, I don't cool. understand why comics beef. I don't want to. It's I'm, dumb. It, I mean, I don't have problems with nobody, and, and if anybody has a problem, beef. I look at it like, look, this you know why comics beef? Whatever. Because other comics forget that they that they real people. Mm -hmm. And they all of a sudden want to be something that they're not, and, and they don't they forget that the other person has a real life. And yeah. So all of a sudden, the whole game changes. But ladies and gentlemen, we going. We, you definitely coming back. You definitely Absolutely. coming back. And we, we and didn't get to none of the comedy stories. There so many that I seen. Uh, kind of new. Kind of new. Facebook. So my, my battery went out of my years. phone, so Facebook Damn. ain't even here. So we just on. Yeah, uh, it. We just live on on audio I, on, on audio. Demand. Yeah. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank y'all. Do me a favor. Call in. Uh, all questions and stuff will get forwarded over to him, and we will do it into our next show. I'm sitting here with my man, Mr. Kevin Mason. Give Yo. him a big round of applause, and my man, Mr. Justin Ramos. Yes, sir. Yeah. Instigate talk is in full effect, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all. Leave a number, leave a, uh, a message oh, at seven one eight four seven zero eight nine three. Definitely put all your information. I was just gonna say, please go check season four of power. We doing a marathon now before the season finale. And how can they contact you, bro? Oh, if you want to contact me at Big Kev Comedy on all social media, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, check the YouTube channel. Big Kev Comedy is worth a look. Yes, sir. And what about you, Justin? Justin, the comic on everything. Yes, sir. I love comics that brand. JP Justice, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace. Good show. Yeah, we